Okay, so now we are back in Pine Grove and the first thing we need to do is set up the WordPress project. So let's go to index.html, that will be our main template, and then go into the WordPress panel, and here we click Activate WordPress. And this brings up the Team Settings dialog, and we, give, we have to give the name to our project, so let's say Starter Shop, and the Slack, Next, we select the folder where our team will be exported. So this will usually be a folder in your local WordPress installation. So it should be VP content teams. And we have to create the folder for our team. So let's say starter shop and select the newly created folder. Okay, so then we just go down and here we have WooCommerce section where we can enable WooCommerce features for this project. Let's do that. And another setting is for the gallery implementation and we can just leave it default so that the gallery will use kind of the provided uh, JavaScript code and plugins that uh, make the gallery interactive. Um, there are no alternatives at the moment, just custom where we have to implement all of those features by ourselves. So let's keep using WooCommerce in this project. Save setting and this also added the page settings on our index.html where we see that this template will be exported as index.php and that's like the main template, the required template for WordPress and all the other settings are just left as they are. And with this we are ready to export um, our project. So go to WordPress menu and say export the team. PineGrow tells us that two files were added to the project. One is functions PHP that contains like the, the PHP code that implements the features of our team and it also lets us um, add our own code and that is why uh, custom PHP is, is used for um, but to, at the moment we won't use any of that it's just a notice that we know what happened and with that we can go to the WordPress dashboard appearance teams and our starter shop is now shown in the team list and we can activate it. Let's visit the site. And what we see is exactly what we see in Pangrow. So if we would open this, it's just hard-coded HTML. There are no dynamic functions yet. But anyway, like the, the, all the boilerplate code and structure of the team was created. We can take a look here in starter shop. So we have index PHP that just more or less contains like the HTML code from our project. And then we have the header and the footer, the functions PHP file that we mentioned before. And here we have various kind of instructions telling WordPress 
um, what features to enable on our project. And also here we have I added like instructions to enable support for WooCommerce and for Gallery Zoom, Gallery Lightbox and Gallery Slider. So what we have is a good start, but it doesn't do anything useful yet. So in the next step, we will implement our main index uh, template and create a master page for our other templates.